Go ahead. Joe, is there any one thing in particular that's been behind this better shooting in the last few games for you? Um, well, first of all, I just want to thank my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for um, doing everything for me and giving me a chance to play. Um, I would say just, I don't know, maybe just getting in shape, just getting used to the speed of the game, you know, getting back into playing shape, I'd say. Um, and then a lot of shots in practice. We're doing a lot more shots, a lot more shooting drills for as the whole team. And I think overall, we're all shooting a lot better. Was, was there something in particular at the start of the year that kind of put you behind shape-wise? or? No, no, I don't think so. It's just um, I think you know we're just getting more confidence now. I mean, we're a young team. I'm the only senior. I mean, we all know that. And just um, you know, getting used to playing with each other. I think that's another big thing. Knowing where our sweet spots are, knowing where people are going to be. That's that's also plays a big role in it. I would think also that confidence plays a role. And we talked a little bit about you know, the last shot fell and how it affects the next shot. Yeah, I mean, it's always good um, to see the ball go through the net. And once you see it go through the net once, uh, then you know you can do it again. And then it's, just, it's a snowball effect. And uh, I think that's true of everyone on the team, shooting-wise. They had tied it 50-50. Uh, will you talk about those possessions, of both offense and defense? Because you hit, I mean, Scott had a basket. You hit a three. You forced them to miss. I mean, we just talk a little bit about that flurry in the game. Yeah, um, we lost the lead. It was 44-30. And then they, they tied it up. And then, you know, we just had to bear down. I mean, the, the older guys made some good plays. Um, we got a few stops, and um, that, that was the game. And, I mean, we just had an all-around effort. You look at the stats. I mean, Scott had 12 and 10. Um, Danny, Cameron, all those guys um, made a great effort. And it was a team effort. It was one of the best team games we've ever had. And um, I think that's a testament to our team, what we're trying to do. How important is it for this team to have team efforts rather than relying on one guy for 18, 20, something like that. Uh, that's very important because not, not one guy is going to gonna take us to the promise. Like, we don't have a LeBron James or a Dwayne Wade, um, but we have a lot of guys that are good players, good smart players. Um, we have a deep bench, a lot of the players that come and give us good minutes. So um, if we come together as a team, you know, both emotionally and on the, on the court, um, we can definitely do some damage in the Met. Will you talk a little bit about the rest of your game, too? I mean, the last few games, it's been a lot cleaner in terms of cutting the turnovers down. Is that about my, mine? Yes, sir. Um, yeah, um, you know, I just, when you, when you get in a, when you start, when you have a couple bad games, I mean, you just got to keep playing through it. You know, I, I know what I can do. Um, and also, Jordan, I mean, he's been playing great as well. I mean, he's been cutting down his turnovers. He's been playing well. I mean, both of us played pretty, pretty good tonight. And, you know, that really helped us out. I think Coach had a stat that said in our in our um, wins before this game, me and Jordan had zero turnovers. But in our losses, we had like 17 assists and 14 turnovers. So, I mean, when we don't turn the ball over, when we play well, our team, you know, it helps our team a lot. Will you talk a little bit about your mindset in those early games when you it looked like you were struggling with turnovers and the shots struggling? Kind of compare where you were at mentally then and now. Um, I, you know, I think I was – Thinking too much. I mean, I can't really put a put a finger on it. You know, you, you play bad. You have a couple of bad games, and um, I mean, again, you just have to keep uh, playing well. Um, you have to keep your faith up, and keep your confidence up, and just play through it. And uh, sooner or later, I mean, your ability will take over. And I think that's what happened. I just got to keep it going. We all got to keep it going. We got to keep improving. That's what it's all about right now. Just keep improving. Keep coming together as a team. Keep the chemistry up, and keep playing well. I've noticed after I think a couple of the women's games, you've come in for some late night practices. Mm -hmm. uh, what what's kind of what's the thought there? How often do you do that? Well, I try to do it almost you know every night that I have, we have practice and it's not a game. You know, you gotta put your time in. You gotta get your shots up um, if you want to be a, a good player. And I mean, you gotta you gotta practice, and that's what I've been trying to do. Just get that little edge and try to get my shot back. So that's that's what I've done. Will you talk a little bit about that situation, that late night by yourself, kind of? I mean, will you talk a little bit about what's going on mentally in that situation? Well, when I when I go in at night, um, either my dad or my brother um, shags balls for me, and I just try to work on my form. You know, just try to work on um, you know keeping my elbow in, all, all the fundamentals of shooting, and just try to get up a lot of, a lot of repetitions, a lot of shots. You know, so I can get that cop, so so I can see the ball go through the net. And um, you know I'm confident when the game starts that I know I can make the shot because I've done it a thousand times in practice. Um, will you talk a little bit also about your senior year? I mean, this is year four. There's no more time at BG after this. I mean, how does that affect what you're doing this senior year? Um, you know, I, I'm just trying to make the most of it um, as, a, as a senior. You know, I only have one more year left, like you said. And 
Um, I'm just trying to, you know, not leave anything behind. You know, I'm trying to give it my all and, um, you know, play with what I have and just leave, uh, leave nothing behind, you know. Are you done? Have I, have I beat him up enough? I got, I got, I do have a question, believe it or not. Um, it seems, that, and it's worked, that you guys are kind of two different teams. When you're in the game, a little more methodical on offense, working the shot clock running, and Jordan picks up the pace. It's almost like two different teams. You think it's, and that's a good thing for you guys, that it, that it works, and also it's tough for the opposition to be able to adjust to that during the game at two different speeds. You just talk about that. Yeah, I mean Jordan's obviously probably one of the quickest guards in the country, and uh, when he gets to the game, he changes the tempo. And like you said, I think it's hard for teams to adjust to that because I come in and I try to run the offense, try to fit in where I can, try to get the team involved. Um, Jordan does the same thing, but he he also pushes the ball more, I think, and it's more dynamic. And yeah, I definitely think that um, teams get caught off guard because when he comes in, I mean it's a different change of pace, um, which is good. So I think we complement each other. We good? All right.